How's it going out there, YouTube? Sean from Fairweather Cards. Hope you're all doing well and uh, staying healthy. So this is the drawing portion of my giveaway for the either a Dak Prescott rookie card or a Matthew Stafford rookie card. Uh, details on this giveaway, if you go back a couple videos, you'll find out how. But basically, how you had a chance to win. But basically, uh, what the gist of it is, is that um, you either had to pick Dak Prescott or Matthew Stafford and put uh, their name in your comments, either Team Dak or Matthew Stafford, whatever, in the comments. And uh, between all those comments, I'll use the YouTube random comment picker and pick one person who has Team Dak and another person who has Matthew Stafford in there. Uh, when I did this drawing a couple weeks ago, uh, both were playing exceptionally well, and you could have actually thrown a third quarterback, as uh, was pointed out to me in my comments. You know, uh, Kyler Murray sure has been looking pretty good as well. Now, we do have a show coming up here in a couple weeks, and who knows, maybe I'll find a couple of uh, Kyler Murray rookie cards and give one of those away. So make sure you check back. I also just want you to know that... Uh, at the end of this, or after this drawing here, I will be doing a um, ma uh, mail review or, you know, mail time review video. So I would really appreciate if you check out some of my most recent pickups. Now, I've already copied the, uh, the uh, URL here on my uh, video, and we'll go ahead and pick the winner. So when I checked earlier today, there was 16 unique comments. I don't think there's been any new ones lately, but we'll just double check, filter out those duplicate users and get the YouTube comments. So yes, uh, 16 unique comments. Wish everybody the best of luck. Here we go. And the first winner is uh, Tyler Corville. Nice. I say Stafford, right on. Well, Tyler, you have one week uh, from today's video. So today is the 17th of October. So contact me. My email is here on YouTube where you can find me on Instagram under Fairweather Cards. And you will get one of these Matthew Stafford rookie cards. So congratulations, man. Let's go ahead and pick another winner. Now, if I happen to pick another Matthew Stafford, uh, I'm not giving away two. I'm just giving away one. So I'm just going to continue to draw until I get Team Dak. So wish, once again, everybody the best of luck. And the winner up. Oh, so E. Levy 10 picked Team Stafford. Hey, I'm really apologize. I really apologize, but you're number two on the list. So in case I don't hear from the previous winner, um, you know, I'll go ahead and just allow you to be second place. I'll give the uh, card, but I'm going to give the other uh, Tyler a week to, to respond to me. So we'll pick one more winner here until we get uh, team back. Looks like Tops Vintage 316. Let me just read through there. I am going with Dak as he seems to have it together this year so far. So, hey, congratulations, Brian. Uh, you're going to be one of the winners for the Dak Prescott Rated Rookie. Everybody, I really appreciate you, and I hope you enjoy the uh, Mail Day video coming up here now. <laughs> How's it going out there, YouTube? Sean from Fairweather Cards. Welcome back to my mail day video. And I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Before getting into that mail day video, I do want to just send a special shout out to all my Astro fans out there. What an exciting win that was against the Chicago White Sox, a series win. Uh, you know, the Astros played with a lot of heart and they're going to be a team, difficult team to beat, um, you know, going forward. So definitely excited to see that. You know, for all the uh, White Sox fans out there, you know, what a team you have. Just a fun group of, of players that uh, play with a lot of swagger. And I'll tell you what, uh, Luis Robert, he, he looks like he's the face of the major leagues for years to come. So the White Sox are going to be very exciting. Uh, here's just one card I do want to kind of, you know, highlight here in my video. Uh, not a part of my mail day video, but... Uh, this is a 2021 Heritage uh, on-card auto from Michael Brantley. 36 copies out there. This is number 30 or 36. Picked this up a several, several months back um, and just excited to have this in my collection. Michael Brantley is a professional hitter, and there's not many of his autographs out there in Astros uniforms, especially on-card autographs. So I was excited to, to get that. I'm, I'm a big fan of Michael Brantley. 
Keeping with the Astros theme, uh, this is a autograph from uh, On Card Auto of, of uh, Adam Everett, a shortstop from the Strohs back in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. This is from the Upper Deck Company. Uh, there was 1,325 of these produced. I can only imagine Adam signing all those. But uh, you know, yeah, he was a shortstop back. Uh, you know, when the Astros, uh, you know, had, had a couple of pretty good years in the, in the mid 2000s. And uh, you always wanted one of his autographs. This was shipped to me for less than two bucks. So excited to get that. And I do have to say that I do believe um, Carlos Correa's days are numbered as a Houston Astro. I just don't see the Astros paying him what other teams are going to offer. I truly believe that the uh, other teams, there's going to be several teams that are going to offer him a contract in that $300 million range over 10 years, which is what uh, Carlos wants. Uh, part of the reason why I don't think the Astros are going to make a serious play, you know, and offer him the, that gobs of money is because of this guy, Jeremy Pena. Um, you know, he's a prospect coming up in the Astros organization. He was hurt uh, quite a bit of the year. Um, I think he was hurt last year, so it bled into this year. But uh, he finished, uh, he came on late in the season and just put up tremendous numbers there in AAA. Uh, high hopes for Jeremy Pena in the Astros organization. And, you know, I, I kind of find it funny because you listen to all the so-called experts out there speaking about the Astros farm, club, or farm teams. You know, we've heard for years now, last couple of years, that the Astros farm, farm teams are depleted, that there's just no talent. But I just, I see loads and loads of talent in that organization, you know, all the way from, from high single A up to the triple A, uh, not only in pitching, but catching as well as, you know, position players and outfield. So I don't think that the Astros organization is going to want to tie up $300 million over the next 10 years when they know that they have a lot of key pieces in the minor leagues that they're going to walk, lock up, want to lock up for years to come to help build or maintain this dynasty. So I just don't see it happening with Carlos. Uh, now, next card, Ryan Sandberg. Um, oh, by the way, if you have any Jeremy Pinas that you want to trade or if you got a good price on them, make sure you hit me up in the comment section because you know I'm really big on his cards. Uh, picked up this cheap Ryan Sandberg rookie, the Fleer from what is that, 83 Fleer. Uh, you know, just uh, this one I picked up for a couple, three, four, five bucks shipped. Love picking up early 80s rookie cards uh, cheap. Uh, this is the famous Rick Face uh, era card. I'm not going to say the word. I'm going to uh, put my thumb over it. But if you've seen a few, uh, several videos back, you know, I did have that box over there was an error box that I purchased off of a seller on eBay. Um, and there was really no certification or anything. He just said, take my word for it. And I did. And sure enough, in that box, I pulled a uh, Bill Ripken, um, you know, error card. So this past week, I, he had one more box for sale. And I was just like, you know what? I want it. So I purchased it and he shipped it out to me at a great price. And um, sure enough, pulled another one of his rookies. So now I have two of these Rick Face uh, error cards. Probably going to send both of them into SGC and uh, just see what type of grades I get on them. You know, I am a Nuggets fan. I'm not a huge basketball fan, but I like the Denver Nuggets. Uh, going back to the days of Dikembe Mutombo and Lafonso Ellis, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. So, you know, if I can pick up an, uh, a Jokic rookie, fairly good price, you know, I will. Saw this on eBay. I think what was hurting the seller was the photo that he used. Um, it looked like it was scuffed on the top. It was just a mark on the case. Uh, but, uh, you know, he didn't have any offers, and it was a really good price. Um, you know, I've seen these listed for three to four times what I paid for it. So, you know, I reached out to the seller and just asked, you know, the seller, you know, what's the deal? And they said, no, it's, it's a nice, nice shape. It's a good looking card. Trusted them. And sure enough, you know, got a really nice card for, for a fraction of what they're going for right now. Um, next cards here. These are all vintage. Uh, here's a 1959 Topps Orlando Cepeda. You know, obviously centering issues is what did this card in. But you know what? I don't care. Uh, I paid less. For, I what I bought this card was less than what I'm guessing the sale, seller had to pay to get this card graded, unless they got a tremendous bulk price deal on it. 
Um, it's just a very, very good looking, um, it's going to display very nicely card from 59 tops. I believe Cepeda's second year card. There's no creases, just the centering is what did it in and a few, you know, softer corners. Love adding this card to my collection. Very excited about that. Similarly, here's a Whitey Ford card from 1960 tops. A little bit blurrier of a picture. I've certainly seen ones that are cleaner and the centering did it in. But, you know, when you're getting this card for less than $10, you know, why not? You know, Hall of Fame picture there. Same can be said for the Brooks Robinson and this Al Kaline. These were, were less than $10 each. The Brooksy, obviously, you know, is, is bordering on miscut there. But Al Kaline, you know, a little better centered. None of these have creases. They do have some softer, touched up corners. But, you know, these are, are good display cases and just excited to, uh, to put these in my collection. So, you know, very, very excited to, to get those cards. We'll put Brooks right there. And then uh, Al Kaline, 62 tops, all-star. Again, uh, I believe I paid $7 for this card, and I got it in a lot, so I was able to get the shipping reduced. I think the shipping combined was 4 bucks. You know, so we're, we're, we're going to say $8.50 for this card. I'm putting that 62 set together. You know, it's only a 4, uh, but, uh, you know, $8.50, somebody paid more to grade this card. I just, it's a no-brainer for me, you know, for my 62 set. And then the last card here is Claude Osteen of the Washington Senators. Uh, this is from the 6 Series in the 62 top set, PSA 6. This card I purchased for $7 ship, shipped, and I needed this one for my collection. Now, the 7 Series in 62 tops, that is the short print series. Uh, there are some in the six theories that are short printed. I don't know if uh, if Claude is included in that or not, but you know, at seven bucks, I'm like, sure, you know, that goes in my set. It helps fill a hole. And I also bought it because of this card right here. This is the 1990 CMC Minor League uh, Coaches card of the Albuquerque Dukes. You know, back in the day, uh, back in the very or late 80s, early 90s, I used to go to a lot of Colorado Springs Sky Sox AAA baseball games, and the Dukes, uh, being the AAA farm club of the Dodgers, would come and play the Sky Sox quite a bit. So I was able to not only get Claude Osteen's autograph, but also Vaughn Josh was autograph on this card. I'd love to find out if Walt McConnell, um, you know, could, could sign this for me. Uh, that would be cool to have all three of them on there. But anyways, uh, that's the mail day video. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, uh, next mail day, I'm going to have some pretty cool Bob Feller cards to show off. So check back with me soon. Y'all take care.